Hello, everyone. Welcome back to To Kill a Mockingbird, Chapter 25. So for this chapter, I actually, like, right when I was reading it, I just, like, immediately went back to a collection of poetry by Rudy Francisco that I was just reading. And I just thought it was really interesting to, like, um, compare Rudy Francisco He's from San Diego and he is in fact a black man. So I really liked the way that like how we've talked in previous chapter recordings um, about Jem sort of like coming to grips with his own masculinity in terms of like coming of age and how um, he would tell Scout that she's acting like a girl. And in chapter 24, it was very specifically mentioned that um, Scout was in a dress for the ladies' luncheon. So she's sort of like having to like be forced into this like gender role of femininity. And then um, she sees um, Jem release, catch the spider with the cup and paper and release it outside and thinks that he's acting like a girl. But he replies that the spider wasn't bothering anyone, so he doesn't want to harm it. So I just love that because it immediately made me think of this poem. like. She asks me to kill the spider. Instead, I get the most peaceful weapons I can find. I take a cup and a napkin, I catch the spider, put it outside and allow it to walk away. If I'm ever caught in the wrong place at the right time, just being alive and not bothering anyone, I hope I am greeted with the same kind of mercy. So this to me just feels so poignant and so just on topic with Tom Robinson and you know, this like violence against like people of color and, you know, like the unarmed black man in general, like, you know, granted Tom Robinson was trying to escape prison, like as we talked about in the last chapter, but to be shot 17 times is just really shows like there was this violence and this grappling that's coming to play and how there really was this option of like the peaceful letting go of, you know, just him being at the wrong place at the wrong time, being alive and not bothering anyone and hoping to be greeted with that same type of mercy, like how this idea of being a black man in America from this book written in the 60s, taking place in the 30s, now once again relevant in 2020 is just like really interesting to me. Um, so like with the spider in the cup, obviously Tom Robinson is the spider. Um, just like how Rudy Francisco, you know, as a black man, hoped in this modern day and age to be seen with mercy. Tom Robinson had hoped for the same thing, yet, um, you know, like he's convicted on these charges despite really good representation by Atticus. And then in these court system, as the appeals being worked, you know, he ends up dying by attempting an escape. And the town really only like you know, typical small town gossip. Um, I know I've mentioned it in previous chapters how it cracks me up this idea of small towns in uh, modern literature. I was actually watching a new show called um, Sweet Magnolias. It's really good so far. I recommend it's TV 14. So I think you guys are old enough for it now um, to talk to your parents about it. Um, but you know, like there's this idea of the rumor mill like in the show in the small town of how one person sees something and within an hour the whole town knows it. So in typical, you know, make them small town fashion, the town is divided by the death and it's the like town gossip for about two days. And Mr. Underwood actually writes an editorial about the death um, and how, you know, it's just completely wrong in the idea of, you know, like innocent people being killed, like not only in Macon, but in society in general, how terrible it is. Yet the rest of the town finds it, you know, typical of a black man that, he like made his bed and he has to lie in it sort of thing like um i think it was mr Moscoso that had um brought up how the lawyer in tom robinson's trial that was prosecuting him you know so was trying to prove that he was guilty the sort of nail in the proverbial coffin was that tom robinson felt bad and felt sorry for may Eliel. so this idea of and so like foolish and Tom Hardy. So it sort of gives you this idea that it's typical of a black man that he like overstepped his bounds and he kept trying to do like 
what was outside of being socially acceptable so he deserved it um and then it, it's really, really interesting to like look at it in terms of the small town and in terms of racial bias so sort of putting it into your guys's hands um if you were to find a spider in your room would you kill it you know be like oh my god a spider stomp or would you trap and release it you know grab the cup grab the paper and treat it with mercy um like we were saying here like as rudy francisco pointed out if i'm ever caught in the wrong place at the ryan at the wrong time just being alive and not bothering anyone i hope i am greeted with the same type of mercy so if you find a spider in your room do you treat it with mercy and um, trap and release it or do you kill it because it's typical of a spider um, feel free to shoot me an email for some extra credit with the response of that. Um, if you guys want to talk about a metaphorical spider of it being like the spider representing Tom Robinson or people of color in general in America, I'd be very interested to see that. Or if you want to take it the literal route and you say like, I hate bugs, I have arachnophobia, I'm killing that spider, like feel free to treat it that way. And either way, I will see you next chapter.